Hello, agents. Hello, everyone. So welcome back and check it out. The 10-year treasury at 4.17, almost complete recovery from that downturn from the rate drop when it went to 3.6. So some companies are still lowering rates, but I've seen some that lowered have come back. So let's take a look at the split annuity. We'll have two terms here. Really quick, the split annuity. Of course, I've done a general uh, split annuity uh, video, and I'll try to link it in the description here. Um, that'll explain why I split annuity. But here we go. We're going to look at $250,000 going into this split annuity. We're going to assign 62744 to the immediate annuity, which is going to kick off $1,145.50 for five years, of which, of course, this is non-qualified, 100% after-tax money, 91.2% of that $1,145 is excluded from tax. That's the idea of the split annuity. We use non-qualified money to offset your current taxes. by you, So you can take money and pay the taxes later. We're deferring it, right? Where's the deferral? Right here. 187 is going to go into the deferred. 187, 256. It's going to earn 5.95. This rate's disappearing on Thursday, by the way, dropping to 570. Um, and after five years, we'll grow to 250. So where's your deferral? 187 to 250. There's your gain. You're not paying tax on that until you take it out. So you can do another split or whatever you want. So yeah, here's a split annuity, 250, you get 1145 right now. It's limited to these states unfortunately. They're um that 5.95. So um, I'll show you in a minute if you're in some other state. So anyway, here's showing my work. I like to show my work. So there's the five-year SPIA, 62,000 going in and paying 11.45 out. And we have 187 going into the uh MIGA at 595. As you see, it's worth $250,000, $250,000 at the end of the time. There's your income here, 91% tax exclusion. Yeah, there's some important information. Cool. Now let's take a look at the future and higher ratings. So this one's all A, this is an A plus company with a walk away on the MIGA side. So you see the rates a bunch lower. It's 5%, although this rate is going to be good for longer. It's not dropping, right? This one's holding right now for the next... Subject change any time, but right now they're holding for the rest of the month. And um, as you can see, the income's a lot less. It's only 983 because of the lower interest rate. Um, yeah, so that's A plus quality, a walk away, a few different features. So you're going to be somewhere between this 983 and this 1145 on the split, depending on the carrier, the rate and all that. So 5% on the A plus, but really you can get probably in the mid fives, 5.3 or whatever. And um, this number is going to be pretty solid. It, it is, um, this is the new um, rate. This is the new money rate for these will be dropping on the 24th. So I'm using the 24th rate. So this is pretty accurate. Okay. So that's the split annuity here showing my work on this one. Of course, this one's a walk away. All good stuff. So why do we use the um, why do we use a split annuity? Because you want to you want to take money from your own money, but you don't want to uh, have it all interest money, right? So you want to not really invade your two hundred fifty thousand dollars. You want to have it at the end of five years, but you want to take the interest off of it. But you don't want to pay one hundred percent tax on that interest. That's where the split annuity comes in. So non qualified money already paid tax on part of it coming out is the part you pay tax on so it's going to be excluded so you're only paying on the interest so basically you're deferring your taxes for a little while by using your own money and some interest so that's how we do it so if you're in a really high tax bracket right now the next five or ten years you can draw some money out of the lower amount and then pull it out hopefully in the future when you're making less money or you're in a lower tax bracket or whatever you're going to transfer it to your heirs whatever so anyway, the split annuity is available. Again, non-qualified money. If you're going to use qualified funds like IRA or whatever, just strip the interest out of the highest because it's 100% taxable anyway. So you just take the 595 and take the interest. You get more income. Anyway. So anyway, yeah, that's it. Um, end of my presentation. Uh, X, YouTube, and LinkedIn for the most up-to-date information. Take care. Bye-bye.